Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to make a video response to the Becoming YouTube, the latest episode, episode 7, about girls on YouTube, because um, I've been watching that series, and it's really good, like every episode, they're really well done. Anyways, I've been watching it, and I wrote some things down on here and in my phone, because I was just thinking, and I was in class, and I was like, ah, so many ideas. It's really good, and I didn't even realize half the things, like, until people kind of pointed them out. Like, I know, okay, overall, basically, he's still trying to have a good message. I really don't know how many guys compared to girls I'm subscribed to. I'm pretty sure I'm subscribed to more guys, though. And, like, the friendships of YouTube is kind of who you watch, like, the different groups of friends or whatever, the different community groups. It's kind of getting, I'm going to kind of get into feminism, sorry, guys. One of the things he said was, like, if you make good videos, people will come. Yeah. That's true, I guess, to an extent, but I have making, I mean, my videos are definitely not the best, but there are really good channels that have, like, a thousand subscribers, and it could be guys, it could be girls. I think promotion does have something to do with it as well, and how you promote yourself. I started making videos, personally, just because, like, I've been, I've been watching YouTube for years before I made this channel, so I just started vlogging, like, a year and a half ago, but I've been watching YouTube since, like, 2006, 2007. So I love the community and I just want to be part of the community. My goal is not to have the most subscribers. My goal is to be part of a community, like have friends that like what I say and watch their videos. And it, I do now and I really like it and it's really fun. Like I still definitely think about my face when I make a video. Like you were saying, like girls think about that. I, girls think about that anyways. Like today I'm wearing makeup but it also kind of goes with what I'm wearing. And if I want to make a video one day, like when I was over break and I wouldn't wear makeup for like a long time because... I'm just sitting at home doing nothing. There's no point of wasting the makeup. I don't care. Like, that shouldn't matter. Like, I feel like this video was a kind of inevitable. It is a big topic on YouTube. And sexism is still a thing. Like, it's not completely gone, people who think it's completely gone. No, like, you can't say it's completely gone because there's things that happen. People definitely click on videos based on the title, or especially the thumbnail. If you don't have any of those fancy colorful things, and you're not trying to attract those kind of people, there's also just, like, the look of your face. Like, if you have interesting colored hair, like, I like colored hair anyways, but I'll, you probably click on your face just because of your hair. And that might be a reason for someone to come, but, and watch a video or a few. But for someone to subscribe to that channel, I think they have to actually, at least in most cases, actually like the person, not just the hair. They're not just going to watch it for the hair, hopefully, because that'd be a waste of time. But personally, I don't care if they're a guy or a girl, and I feel like, okay, wait, I'm getting to a good point here. I don't really care as long as the content is good, and that should be for anyone. And, like they're saying, go vlog. I feel like there has been a lot of female YouTubers, but they're not as promoted. Because, okay, here's the thing. A lot of people watch YouTubers, that watch YouTubers, are teenage girls. And I don't know why that is, but at least like the Nerfiteria, British kind of Charlie's so cool, like the near mom community. That is a lot of female girls. I don't think that was how it was meant to be, but that's what happened. But I think for girls, it's a lot easier for a girl to watch a girl and be like, oh, I can relate to you, or watch a guy because he's cute or funny or whatever, than a guy watching a girl's video who might do some vlogs, but it might be like, oh, you're watching a girl, ha huh? you're gay, or you're a girl for watching a girl. And I think the thing behind that is that it's an insult to be a girl, and that's just not cool. Like, why is that? Like, why is it bad to be a girl? Why well, does it matter what parts you have? It shouldn't matter. Like I said, I think that was a good video idea, but also... Yeah, it was going to get a lot of controversy just because it's talking about that kind of thing. So, good on you, Ben. I know that your overall message was trying to be good. With, uh, with all these things going on on YouTube, whatever, still, it's just a reflection of the society, kind of, I guess. Like, there's no way it's going to be completely different from society. Like, of course, societal things are going to be reflected in YouTube. And especially if most of these YouTubers we're talking about are British or American, so it's very Western, that kind of stuff. It's going to be reflective of the times, anything is, that it's ever made. But anyways, overall, YouTube is just like a really good site. I wrote my essay to get into here, into the next school I am in right now, about the YouTube community and how it's an awesome thing. And I got in with it. Obviously, because I'm here. We should just, like, appreciate that. Try to promote some female YouTubers, but just promote anyone that's actually good and, like, just watch what you want. Try to make good content, but don't make it just because you want to be big. Make it because you like what you're doing and having fun. And, guys, don't be afraid to watch female YouTubers because there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with liking girl things, it doesn't make you less of a man, and also there shouldn't be anything wrong with being a woman because we have freaking periods, so, and have babies. So deal with that. Bye.